Welcome to NFL Week 1 Full Week Recap, not just a Sunday recap anymore. I am your host, Peyton Ward. I'm here with Nick Mosier once again. And we, like I said, are going to start off on Thursday. I know it seems like a while ago. I know it's going to be tough to remember, but Ravens at Chiefs kicked off the NFL season. Moj, I'm going to send it over to you. What are some takeaways from opening All night? All right. Uh, before we talk about the actual game, all this singing after a rain delay, when it's the first game of the season, people are waiting for the game to start. We're waiting for football. You know what? Scrap Kendrick Lamar for the Super Bowl. Get him on the stage early if we're going to do all that. But the game, to start, Derrick Henry looked very good. I was impressed with Derrick. First drive, he had a touchdown, but then he disappeared. I don't know what Harbaugh was thinking. It seemed like they benched him for the second and third quarter. Yeah. They're running Lamar all game. Lamar is running sweeps and dropping the shoulder. <laughs> you had him lose weight so he wouldn't, so he can run and not get hurt, and you're having him drop the shoulder. Yep. I don't understand it. That's why you got Derrick Henry, the big ogre in the backfield, to drop the shoulder, and you're having your quarterback do it. I don't get John Harbaugh. I really don't. And uh, the Ravens, they, they can't seem to figure the Chiefs out. They no. really can't. The Chiefs have their number. I feel like it's terrifying for AFC teams or everybody in the NFL that the Chiefs went out there and they didn't really have a special performance, and they beat yeah. what many people think is their toughest competition in the AFC, maybe even in the NFL. Coming into the year, I thought Baltimore was the best team in the AFC, and Kansas City on a – regular night for them nothing special out of Mahomes. travis kelsey might not have even played yeah i, I mean he was he was doing nothing like Mark Andrews, yeah, yeah nothing i heard you mention a bunch of times about what they were doing with lamar jackson lamar jackson's amazing at football he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league one of the best dual threat ever you can quote me he's the best dual threat ever but you're relying too much on him to just be superman Can't 41 passes and 16 carries he was, the whole, he was literally the whole team. The whole, could, they should have just put him on defense. Might as well. Just, just might Travis as well. Hunter Lamar Jackson at that point. At this point, that. you might as well. Yeah. You run down the field with Derrick Henry. You dominate. Yeah, I don't. You score don't the first drive. Why he disappeared. I don't. And, and then he doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, no, I I've, don't. Why? And here's the problem, Moj. I've had this question so many times with this team. What is Harbaugh doing? You think back to that first time... Lamar Jackson had a playoff run whenever it was 2019 when he was unanimous MVP, and he's throwing 60 times against yeah, the I Titans don't. in a game that was never out of reach. And they ran the ball three or four times, and Harbaugh goes, yeah, I'm not really sure why Gus Edwards or Mark Ingram or whoever it was didn't get more carries. That won't happen buddy, again. Buddy, 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 you're the head coach, bud. And then you, the it coach. gets better. It gets better. And then last year, their running backs had eight carries. Yeah, well, and yeah. they lost to the Chiefs in another question, game they should have won. Yeah, and we come back against the Chiefs again, and it's like we've learned nothing. You Lamar's learn throwing like forty-one times. I no I respect Lamar Jackson as a passer. No chance he should ever throw forty-one passes. Too, not you can't do it too much. No, you can't do it too much. And like some of those carries. Of those 16 carries were scrambles, too. So that means he was dropping yeah. back over 45 times to pass. The old line was a little bit of a, uh, it was a disaster. It was. At, at it was. In that game. He was running. He was running for his life. Yeah, I don't get what they're doing. I really don't get their offense. They think Lamar, they think they can literally just ride Lamar and he's going to carry them. You can't, you can't do that. It's the, it's the ultimate. That's why they call it the ultimate team sport. Yeah. You need to get everybody. I don't care if it's the fifth receiver on the depth chart. You have to get them. You have to get them involved. You have to get all your running backs involved. You signed Derrick Henry for a reason. So, we had Friday football. Not really sure what to say about that. Yeah, I don't. Um, know. hopefully you'll know what to say about that. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know why. Once again, some some of the decisions Roger Goodell makes. I don't know why we're playing in Brazil. I'm gonna let you know right now. The Brazilians do not care about football de americano they do not care <laughs> about american yeah. football all of their legends in the in the history of the country come from either mma or soccer shout out i, I don't know what yeah I, dude another beast <laughs> put him on, i'll take him put him on the ravens let him run the ball uh, they sent over the yankees uh spanish broadcaster ricky ricardo for the radio mm -hmm. and he said what am i doing why do i have to go to brazil i speak spanish they speak portuguese roger they speak portuguese they don't speak Spanish. Well, so what, what are we doing, buddy? Saquon. Oh Saquon oh is boy. looking like he loves Philly. He oh hasn't boy. even played in Philly yet. 
you utilize Saquon the right way, unlike the Giants, you treat him the right way, he's going to produce. When they play the Giants, I hope he gives them 400 yards. I <laughs> yeah, really I do. agree. Uh, and then Jordan Love, unfortunately, gets hurt. Um, a lot of people saying it was a dirty dirty tackle. I don't really think it was a dirty tackle. Nah, I don't either. Just got caught up in the bodies, but that's a little bit unfortunate for the Packers because now they got to go to Malik Willis, who hasn't shown he hasn't shown much yet. I mean, maybe he can, uh, with a competent system figure out a way to, to get some dubs he's the epitome of like accidentally became important at work and it ruined my life yeah. that's what malik willis strikes me as yeah. right now because he's not ready to step no. into this role we hope jordan love comes back soon uh because any injury you don't want to see especially when it's a super talented yeah, guy that's going to have a major impact on the nfl season finally getting to sunday with the patriots at the Bengals, the upset of the day one thing with the Bengals, um you draft jamar chase for him to be a generational wide receiver. He starts to put up generational numbers and you have second thoughts about paying him what he wants. I don't know what's going on with Burrow. The wrist, the wrist is looking, uh, the wrist is looking a little bit uh, questionable, I think. He's shaking the wrist all game. I don't know what's going on with that. They need to pray that they don't have, uh, they don't lose um, Joe Burrow. The Patriots defense is, is still pretty good. Their offense is terrible. Uh, their defense is still pretty good. I, I'm kind of sick of it because they, they're just going to be that annoying team that you think they're out of it. They're going to win a couple games. Mm -hmm. Hopefully not. Surprisingly, I had the Patriots as the worst team in the NFL this year, and they just went out there and dominated a team that was considered yeah, a Super Bowl contender on both sides of the line. They great. were running Cincinnati's pockets. To build on the fact that Cincinnati's passing game was non-existent, five and a half yards per pass for Terrible. Mr. Joe Shiesty and... To add on to this, he threw only eight times further than five yards down the field. That wrist, I'm telling you, that wrist, that wrist is, is an compromised. Issue. It looked Not horrible, good. but the Patriots Not line good. just dominated them, and yeah. Ramondre Stevenson just ran all over him. Moving forward to another big story of Week One: the Bills with a big comeback win at home against the Cardinals. I do have a question for you about this one. Was this more of the Cardinals showing that they're back? Or was this the Bills showing their flaws? I think it was the Bills showing their flaws, especially without Diggs. Because, yeah. I mean, Keon Coleman, they have Keon Coleman, but he's a rookie. He's not going to immediately, I think, show out and ball. Josh Allen, again, people love him. People think he's top three, okay? I think he's a tight end at quarterback. I'm <laughs> sick of watching him. All, all game, you can predict what they're running on third down. It's Josh Allen... Stumble and bumble up the <laughs> Lowering middle. his shoulder. Cardinals, what were they up, 17 at one point? Josh Allen is stumbling and bumbling up the middle, and we can't hit him? Please, somebody tackle him. I'm sick of the Bills. <laughs> I'm sick of their fan base jumping through tables. I'm telling you, it's going to be a rude awakening when Josh doesn't have, when he looks up and doesn't have digs to bail him out. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be rough. They're going to take a step back this year. Uh, the Cardinals did blow it, though. The yeah. Cardinals had chances. And Kyler Murray, Marvin Harrison Jr. at the end of the game, is begging for the ball with nobody around him. And then Kyler comes out and, and says that it's not my job to feed Marvin Harrison Jr. So, Kyler, whose job is that, buddy? No, let's, I'm sick of Kyler, too. Let's get it together. Josh Allen, Kyler Murray, I'm going to say they're on my bozo list. They need to figure it out. Ooh. They're on my bozo list. Early. Wow. Early Kyler bozo and Josh, list. you heard it here first, Kyler. ladies and gentlemen. He Kyler and back. Allen on the bozo list. Kyler just came back from injury, but he's already entered the bozo wow. list. Wow. Wow. You're the quarterback, buddy. You don't, you don't, you're not supposed to feed your receivers? <laughs> Two quarterbacks that. from the same game. Bozo. Simultaneous bozo list, bozo list additions. Simon. Hammer home the bozo list addition for Kyler Murray. I mean, five for 12 in yeah. the second half with 31 yards. Thank you. Definitely not doing his job, whatever he thinks it is, well enough in the he second thinks, half. You know, he thinks he can just skadoodle around. He thinks he's little enough to where the defense is not going to see him. Kyler, <laughs> you can't just skadoodle around the field. I saw somebody Stop. say that he looks like a bad kid that just stole his mother's yeah. iPad running yeah, away from her, and it's yeah. the funniest thing ever because I can't yeah. unsee it now. And running now y'all can't unsee himself. it either. Literally running to lock himself in the bathroom. <laughs> to go download apps with mommy's credit card. <laughs> Tyler, lock it the hell in. I'm sick of it. Bozo list. Number two, Josh Allen, number one right now. Tell you right now. A bozo go. might just be added with this next game oh. we're going to talk about. The Vikings at the Giants. Take it away, oh, please. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, Danny Dimes. Okay, we're gonna call him Danny Crimes because oh, that's like what he's that. doing. He's committing crimes on the field I like for that. his uh, for his own team. Daniel, your players are in blue. Okay, or oh, actually, they're wearing those atrocious blue and red and tan disgusting and disgusting. A lot of stuff hats. going on there. Let's put the Giants uniforms on the balls, all this. It's not even. A <laughs> oh player. no, boy! Put the uniforms on. The <laughs> oh boy! Okay, okay. What is what is this year six for him? Too many. Danny, too many years in the league, he, in my opinion. You got two years, eighty mil. He has more pick sixes than touchdowns since he got that contract. I think if they bench him uh, before he plays a certain amount of games, they don't got to pay him the full contract. And that will 100% be happening. Daniel Jones, number three on the Bozo list. Giants uniforms, also on the Bozo Welcome, list. Welcome, Daniel Jones. Take the watching the Giants. Uh, Daniel should be out of the league and working at H&R Block. Honestly, Daniel, I should be showing up to an H&R Block next year, and Daniel should be doing my taxes. You want to talk about Danny Dimes? That's a perfect name for an accountant. Danny Dimes might be the world's worst, but on a positive note for the New York Giants, Carson Beck, welcome to New York. Moving on to a game where the team who had an absolute poop offense, an absolute poop performance from their rookie QB, ended up winning the game because of uh, defense and special team touchdowns. Most talk don't to me about me. the Titans and the Bears. A disaster game for the Titans. Honestly, Caleb Williams had nothing. Oh, my God. Um, awful. So, 93, so 93 yards of 55.7 QBR. You're supposed to be the next coming with Pat Mahomes. That's what I was told. That's what I was told, too. And it looked like it. It's got to be better. They had literally no offense. Quite literally had... No offense, all their points were from their defense. This game's tough for me to talk about because I don't know what to take away. I feel like the Titans I have no expectations for, and the Bears I, I no. don't think they're going to be that they're good. Not. I feel like Caleb will settle in and be solid this year. I don't expect they're too not. much from him. but They're not, they're not making the playoffs. People think no. they're making the playoffs. They're not making the I hope you've got something to say because the Carolina Panthers oh, yeah. – absolutely disgust me i have nothing else to say about this franchise um the panthers are absolutely cooked uh right now they're a useless franchise in the league uh bryce young is done he looks like a, a second grader at recess trying to play with the fifth graders it's too li- I, I, it's too little and he can run but it, it's like he's not that fast he had 161 yards two picks and a 32.8 qbr that is grotesque. Uh, we're going to talk about Steelers and the Falcons. You know, I say it made a lot of sense because the Steelers, they win by kicking only field goals, and their defense, along with the awful Kirk Cousins, win the game for them. Now listen, the Steelers haven't had an offense. They haven't looked like they have had a functional offense. I don't know. Yeah, A.B. Levian was the last time they've had, like, an explosive functional offense. I don't know what their offensive scheme is. They just don't have – I mean, Russ is cooked. Yeah, Mister Mister Unlimited. Unlimited uh, is limited. He's very limited. <laughs> limited in pra- Mister Unlimited. Limited in but, practice. <laughs> Mister Unlimited. Limited in practice. But he couldn't even <laughs> play the game. Already has a calf injury. Oh my god. Ruled out. Ruled one hundred percent out. He's wearing the full uniform on the sideline. Russ, it's corny. <laughs> He's so it's corny. Funny. Russ, go home to your wife. Breaking Uh-oh. news. Uh oh. Russell Wilson Bozo list. Oh, He's moved up no. to number two. Unlimited time on the Bozo list. Sick of it. Justin Fields didn't do too much. And his uh, chance to prove it, maybe he has a couple more weeks. Uh, they didn't utilize Justin Fields that much. You know, I know you said that uh, Fields didn't do too much. And, well, the stats would show that. As long as he doesn't make mistakes, I really don't feel like he needs to do too much with the way the Steelers whole team is built like yeah. 17 for 23 156 57 rushing yards like he's moving the ball he executed the game plan very well i don't know if you saw this but i saw his pass chart and they did not throw in between the numbers at all they so. they avoided bates and simmons for atlanta completely because those are their big playmakers on defense and they threw outside every single time and he went 17 for 23 only throwing outside, which is what you see the opposite of most of the time. Honestly, I'm not in on Justin Fields. I I never bought Justin Fields stock. I never considered buying Justin Fields stock. But if he plays like that, the Steelers have a chance to extend Mike Tomlin's record. I don't even know if there's a good segue to move on to a game where I don't think there's going to be any bozos. We got the Jaguars at the Dolphins. No, there's no, no, there's no, no bozos. You know what? Know who the bozos? I'm going to say it. Uh-oh. And I think the bozos. 
Miami Dade police. Tyreek was running during the game like he was running away from the cops. A tutty. <laughs> he could have had multiple tutties. I think Tua missed him a couple times. Shocker. Could have had him. Could, yeah, I mean, Tua turned <laughs> the ball over. We call him Tua Turn the ball over. Honestly, Trevor Lawrence wasn't throwing the ball bad. I don't think he played pretty well. Um, they just couldn't. They couldn't get it done at the end. I'm I'm still heavily invested in Trevor Lawrence. I know. People are starting to be out on him after last year, giving up the division lead to the Texans, who really didn't have much business winning that division. The game was lost when ETN's at the two-yard line, he fumbles yeah, it, fumble, yeah, and, the, and the Dolphins take over. Like You had a chance to put the game away. I believe yeah, it was, was 17-7 there, late third quarter. You go up 24-7 to late in the third. I know the Dolphins, oh. with their big playability, are never really out of a game, but 24-7 in week one, when you're still kind of figuring out the offense, it's not insurmountable by any means, but it's a lot more favorable than giving up the ball before you score. Not only giving up the ball, but also giving up the momentum. I feel like that was the play where the the whole entire script just flipped and Miami took over, ended up making the comeback. The last game that we got to talk about in the early window, uh, AFC South, Texans at Colts. I think it's going to be a generational uh, QB matchup in the AFC South. I like A. Rich a lot. I like C.J. Stroud a lot. Uh, I think they're going to be one too. In the South for a long time. Well, they got the ja- the Jags too, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that could be three quarterbacks. Jags, Colts, Texans. I mean, if Trevor can figure it out and take the next step, that could be a, a, a gauntlet of a division. It really could. I mean, the Texans have a lot of weapons. The Colts just need more weapons. I think they're going to need a tight end, and they're going to need more receiving we- weapons for A-Rich. It sounds like you honestly have more Anthony Richardson stock than I do. Oh, I do. I love him. Like, in my opinion, his big plays and the big arm don't mask the fact that he's going 9 for 19 and just making very, very bad decisions at times. I like him. He's a great dude. I'd be happy for him to be the face of the franchise for 10 years. But it worries me right now. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt because for the second year in a row, he's the youngest quarterback in the league. I think you can hone him in with the accuracy. You just can't can't have him make the stupid – it's all play calling. Yeah. You scheme an offense for him. You're going to be fine. I need to talk to Chris Ballard right now, GM Chris Ballard. Our defense is absolute garbage, and the fact that we sat around all offseason and did nothing once again yeah, is an absolute joke. They didn't do much, right? It's they an have... absolute joke. Okay. We we made no moves. We made no improvement on defense. We knew we were going to have a hard time stopping the run this year, and what happened yesterday? 30 carries for 160 damn yards and a touchdown for Joe Mixon. We got absolutely put in the dirt by their offensive line. And Joe Mixon ran Joe Mixon. all over us, a team that once nuts. again made no moves. I think I think it's like a little poetic that the team that made no offseason moves got absolutely torched by a team that made a massive offseason move. Yeah. Have you ever seen the movie Major League, the baseball movie? Uh, yes. I yeah. feel like when I saw the roster for the Colts, I felt like those construction workers that were reading the paper and saw the lineup, I'm like, who the fuck are these yeah, guys? Yeah, bunch of, I call them a bunch of hoops. Late window we go, starting things off, SoFi Stadium, Raiders at the Chargers, Minshew Mania, former Colts legend. What a game for JK. Shout out JK. Coming off of a popped ACL, then coming back, coming off of a popped Achilles to explode. To absolutely 135 yards in a tutty. And Harbaugh, like I said, he looks like Vince Lombardi compared to Staley. I think they'll be good. I think they'll I think they'll get a wild card spot, to be honest with you. Their defensive line is very good. Their defensive backs are pretty good. Uh, and their offense is, is decent. So with the competent coaching, I think they can uh, make a push for a wild card. Jury's still out on the Chargers in my mind. I see a lot of people talk about they're going to be very bad i see a lot of people talking they're gonna be very good i don't know what to expect i know the raiders aren't gonna be very good so that was a that was a win that was expected i agreed with having them going to the wild card i had them like nine and eight ten and seven i think herbert's an incredible quarterback and he has not really been able to show that too much with the incompetence around him in that franchise heading on over to seattle broncos the ricky qb bo Nix with his 138 yards on 42 passes uh, yeah, tell me what you got about that game. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the Broncos are, are doing. Seahawks look pretty good, though. Seahawks look pretty good. Geno Smith. Uh, again, you got players like Zach Wilson that lead the Jets, absolute dumpsters. 
And then you got players that leave the Jets, like Geno Smith, who figures it out. Still ain't he right can, back. Seahawks look pretty good. Kenneth Walker's good. 103 yards in a tutty. Geno Smith, what a career resurrection. That's an all-time career resurrection, honestly, it really is. He ain't right back. Uh, Started he, this off by saying 138 yards on 42 passes. That, uh, how, yeah. He is who we thought he was. And yeah, that's... He doesn't throw the ball down the field. It just doesn't happen. We saw it in college, and people didn't want to believe it. And then he gets picked in the first round somehow. Broncos. Broncos quarterback room disaster. Shador Sanders no, staying in Colorado, folks. DK should. Commanders at Bucks. We got two games in the late window left. Rookie QB, uh, Jane Daniels. Baker Mayfield on his revenge tour. Talk to me about the Commanders and the Bucks. Uh, Jaden Daniels, uh, he threw the ball pretty well, 184 yards. Oh, 88 yards rushing, two tutties rushing on the ground. Love to see that. I think they're going to be, they'll turn it around. It'll be like a Texans-esque turnaround. The Bucks too. Baker Mayfield, I'm going to tell you right now. Baker was number one on my bozo list for the longest time. Yeah, same. He was out there, he was out there acting like a TikToker. And now he's balling. I can't even, I I, I have nothing to say. I, he he shot me up. And I don't think Mike Evans gets enough enough respect. Thank you. Mike Evans Thank you. is an absolute Hall of Fame, first ballot yes. Hall of Fame, yes. active Hall of Fame yes. right now. Every time you look up, Mike Evans is making a, a damn play. Mike Evans, people need to put more respect on, on Mike Evans' Thank name. You. I want to go back to what you're saying about Baker. I mean, this dude was a – literally, he was a reject. Shout out, Baker. I was, like, one of his top haters in the world. I was. I was so the shout out. Was <laughs> shout out, delicious. Baker. Every time Baker messed up, it was delicious. I will, I will humbly accept. Oh, shut me up. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. We got to talk. Cowboys, Browns. Deshaun. Uh, that is the worst trade in NFL history right now yeah. uh, due to the fact that Baker is absolutely balling. Uh, that is the worst contract in sports history. I don't even know the guaranteed money. I know it was number one at one point. Disgusting Browns. Disgusting Browns. They need to know. They're talking about handcuffing Tyreek. They need to handcuff Deshaun. Yeah, get him out of the league, I love. Get him out of here. I'm sick of watching him. And then he'll have a stinker and he goes, oh, my shoulder hurts. Really, Stop Deshaun? It. Stop it. You know what? He's yeah, using it as, he as an He wants excuse. a massage. We all know what he's doing. Yeah, he wants a he's massage. He's playing the game. He wants more massage. I'm disgusted. The guy is addicted. I'm he's disgusting. an addict. I mean, 53%, 170 touchdown and two picks. I mean, it's just bad. But I think him being awful kind of masked that the Cowboys are going to take a step back this year. Oh, they're, they're and we're not, we're not we're not really noticing that because of yeah. how awful Deshaun is. That we just like, oh, the Cowboys had a big win. Like, it's really not going to be smooth no, sailing no. for the Cowboys this year. I feel like they're going to struggle for the playoffs. The run game uh, was yeah. okay, but I don't think that's going to last. What's Every the difference? What is the difference between Dak and Kirk Cousins? Please. Literally. I don't think much. Sunday night football. Matthew Stafford, once again, a homecoming. Rams at Lions. A relatively calm game for two outstanding offenses. So, most take me through that game. Well, it's just another game of Dan Campbell biting kneecaps, biting more kneecaps than uh, Sean McVay. Uh, they got the best O-line in the league. I don't think it's close. They have the running back tandem. It's a vicious tandem. Jameer Gibbs is the speedster. And then you got David Montgomery absolutely just bowling over people. And then uh, Sean McVay, you know what? He's pushing bows all this. Oh. Sean, Sean you, uh -oh. you, you have Kyron Williams. And you say, you know what? He, he's going to return punts. That's just starting running back, Sean. Sean, you can't be losing running backs, buddy. Stop, Sean. Sean McVay is another one where I'm like, what has he done without a stacked roster? I don't think they're making the playoffs. I think the Rams are cooked. I think it's going to be a, a, a big regression. The Seahawks division leaders the division. seem to be... I think Seahawks might could could win that honestly. Slow your roll because <laughs> we got this Jets Niners game uh, absolutely oh, wait, wait. dominated. I forgot about the Niners. What absolutely am I doing? dominated by what am I San doing? Francisco. Moj, watch yourself right. for the bozo list, my All friend. Right. Seahawks. All right. <laughs> the 49ers against the Jets. Uh, Talk to me, Mr. Jets fan. Um, tell you right now, the Jets uh, are an absolute embarrassment again okay you you now have a healthy Aaron Rodgers you have one of the best running backs in the league you have one of the best receivers in the league you have one of the best quarterbacks of all time you have supposedly the best one of the best defenses in the league and an undrafted running back Jordan Mason who probably went to ITT Tech ran all over you Robert Sala is supposed to be a defensive guru we can't stop the run 
You, I, we, they lost CMC before the game. I was jumping up and down, and you let Mister ITT Tech look cordon blue running back run all over you. What are we doing? What? It's the same old every year. It's the same old thing. I'm sick of it. And then Robert Sala at the at the after game presser. It'll be all right, Robert. You didn't make an adjustment, buddy. It's gonna be all right. It's a circus again. You have Hassan Reddick playing dress up in Japan as a samurai instead of showing up to training camp. Nathaniel Hackett, bozo list. Robert oh, yeah, Sala, definitely. bozo list. Hassan Reddick, bozo wow. list. Jets defense oh, boy. right now. Oh, hey. Bozo list. Dang! Sick of it, bro. Sick of this pain, dude. I've had enough physical pain the past few years. I don't need this mental pain. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that link at the top of the description. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see y'all for week two.